Hey guys, how's it going? I uh, just wanted to do a quick demonstration of a call between Zello and a Tetra handset. So I'll do the demo first of all, and then we'll explain how it's working. So uh, let's key up on the phone first of all. Uh, VK2 CJC testing, one, two, one, two. So you can see the audio coming through the Tetra handset, and I'll do it in the other direction as well. And VK2 CJC testing. There we go. So you can see uh, Tetra to Zello is uh, is working. I can call between the two. Uh, so theoretically, uh, wherever I've got my mobile phone, I can talk on Tetra and between Tetra, I can talk on Zello. So how is this all working? Well, uh, the mobile itself uh, is just a Tetra handset that's set up on DMO. Um, so I'm currently transmitting on 439.125 here in, uh, in Sydney. Um, we've got the mobile radio set up here, the MTM800E, which is also uh, set on 439.125 DMO. I've got uh, some cables that come out the back of the, uh, the MTM800E. Uh, there's six in there altogether, plus, um, sorry, there's four plus two. So there's four heading to the signal link and two heading to my external speakers. My external speaker uh, sits at the, back, at the back there. That's that little tiny one. It doesn't have anything to do with the, um, the Zello slash Tetra setup. It just means that I can hear local audio coming out of the speaker as well if I want to. So those four cables, which is um, PTT, uh, mic, speaker, and ground, um, they get sent across this Cat5 cable here that I've chopped up into the back of the signal link. And the signal link uh, converts that signal then uh, into digital, sends it across the USB into the computer itself. So if I just show you the settings on how I've configured Zello as well. So in here, uh, the signal link shows up as an uh, audio USB codec. So that's selected for speaker and mic. It did take a little bit of testing to get the audio levels um, right. So that's what I've currently got mine set at. And I've also turned Vox on as well down here. Uh, so. The signal link itself required a little bit of work itself. So inside, if you're familiar with the inside of these devices, there's um, there's eight pins that connect across to eight other pins. Um, Tigertronics, the people that make this box, do sell converters uh, that will convert various different pins inside across to other pins on the other side to, to essentially send the signal in the right direction to the radio. Um, because I've made my own custom cable for this Tetra handset, because Tigertronics don't make one, um, I actually had to solder the pins myself. Uh, it's relatively simple though, you just go pin 1 to 1, 2 to 2, 3 to 3, uh, and six to six. Um, so that enables um, ground, PTT, speaker, and mic to work on this device. I've then also configured the knobs on the front here um, in terms of the TX uh, volume, RX volume, and the delay as well. Uh, and basically that's how that works. Uh, and it works really well. Uh, if you guys have any questions on um, how this works, or if you would like me to delve into a little bit more detail, feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, I'll also point out what I've also got here too, because people do like to ask questions sometimes, right? So I've got a DM4601 here, that's a DMR radio. I've got a, an XTL5000. Um, this is a P25 UHF R1 split radio. On the right here uh, is its VHF version. This is a 2500, uh, P25 as well, but there's no there's no VHF P25 in Sydney, so that's just analog. And of course, the um, the Tetra radio down here as well. I'm using um, those mics, uh, this one for the P25 and this one for the DMR. Uh, on the right here as well, uh, this is what's known as a DIU 3000. It's essentially the same as the insides of this, uh, just without the radio component. Um, you can plug a, um, a dispatch console into the bottom of these two ports here, which look a little bit like phone ports, uh, and you can use it like a radio. Um, but it does require um, connectivity, uh, and that connectivity is supplied by the Cisco router, which is just down here that you can't quite see. So. This thing doesn't have a radio inside of it. If you want to key up or listen to audio, you've got to have a way of transferring um, the audio from the P25 network into the device itself. And that's what that Cisco router does. And I got a couple of batteries up here as well. And uh, 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 my uh, normal um, portable that I do carry around, which is the um, XTS uh, 5000. Fantastic portable, really, really like this. It's um. It's got a, a lithium battery on the back here as well, which makes such a huge difference when it comes to the weight of these things. Anyways, guys, 
thanks for watching. Uh, if you do have any questions or would like to know a little bit more, uh, please feel free to let me know. The, uh, the plans with all of this is to build a, a Tetra link here in Sydney. So right now we've got DMR, we've got P25, uh, plenty of analog repeaters. But what I'd like to do is build a, um, a Tetra hotspot here. And I live pretty close to the city. And so um, I think it would be a good opportunity to uh, get some Tetra usage here in Sydney. So yeah, feel free to leave a comment below or uh, send me a message uh, via via YouTube. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.